Welcome to Triple G. We've gone night vision. This, by the way, is nothing to do with Lee Perriman. It certainly wasn't his idea to do the intro like this. I just want to get that out there. But anyway, Triple G has gone thermal. Welcome to Triple G. Guns, gear, gadgets. People are always moaning at me, no gadgets, no gadgets. Feast your eyes on this little lot. We've got night vision, or we've got thermal vision. We've got the thermally rangy things, does everything. Now, let's go for them very quickly. We have got the Trail 2 XP50 there. Oh, lovely. We've got the Thermion 1 XP50 there, and this is a Digi, DigiSight Ultra N450. Look at that, I remembered them all. Now, add it all together, 11 quid. No, it's not 11 quid, it's a lot, lot more than that. But is it worth it? Is it actually worth it having all this gear? Let me tell you, so far, even I can zero it. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But I can, with help, obviously, like most things really, like making toast. This actually is a, is a plethora of night vision goodies. And I'm telling you now, the footage we're gonna get and give to you guys, you'll be out buying this for shizzle, for shizzle. It's really good, not difficult to set up, batteries last, last goodness knows how long. You want this gear, it's proper. What, not happy with all that on them? What about this? Or oh, what about that? So Helion 2 XP50, Axion, XP38. I can't remember all these numbers, it's hurt me head. Now, these are something special. They can spot anything you want at any distance, they do it all. And again, so easy to use, it's really good. We've got the stream vision going on. Hello, keep still, Delta Wolf. Um, we've got the stream vision going on on the phones, I think, I think. And what we're gonna do is, we get again, we can download all the stuff off these and them and goodness knows what else. So, I think in the words of Tiesto, let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night. Shot. And you videoed it? I videoed it. My <laughs> first rabbit. I keep expecting a shell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously we were filming today, we're trying out all this um, NV stuff. I had to get Gylo in, didn't I? Because it's for the chicks, because they love it. Look at him. Even I like him, come on, look at him, he's stunning, isn't he? And we've got Ray for the, uh, the elderly, I guess, I don't know. I mean, tra train spotters. <laughs> he's gonna beat the life out of me, you watch. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's the eye candy and, and he's had too much candy. <laughs> 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 that, that day. <laughs> so you've got night vision, you've got your pards, they're very good actually. You know, stick it on about the old scope, off you go. They're very, very good. I know lots of people that have got them. This is a bit of a different kettle of fish. This is a bit more, oh, you know, it's got that certain je ne sais quoi. Look at me with my languages. Got them all, mate. Now, this, the Thermion, that's the Thermion 1. There's a Thermion 2 out, right, which is even better than that. And at the moment, this is pretty blimmin' good, I can tell you. I'm using this, and it works very well. That's NV, that's night vision, night vision, you know, like normal night vision. These are thermal. I could do my thermals on, actually. Thank God for this today, because it's rained and it's been freezing. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Jack Pike. Now, here's the thing. You've got your night vision, What's this for? Now, thermal, if you've not looked through one, well, you'll see the footage, we'll put it up there or there, or I don't do that, I can't do that, but someone will, I'm sure. So, the thermal image, I mean, it shows up these rabbits, like goodness knows how far they are. Now, this thing, right, this is really, really cool, because it's got a rangefinder in it. There's no excuse to miss, surely, is there? Well, I think that's a really, really clever bit of kit. Now, that's getting the Thermion, go straight on your 30 mil mounts. What a result. So if you've got a quick release mount like this, off on day vision, lovely. I mean, you can use it in the day. We've been using it in the day. But if you want a proper dedicated day vision, do that. Take it off in the evening, 
straight out with the old Thermion. It's very, very good. So the price hike from that to that or that, it's, it's a fair old lump, right? You know, it's not the national debt of Venezuela, I grant you, but it still makes you sort of think, oh, that's a lot of money. But a Ferrari, right? If you want a Ferrari, you don't go into the showroom and go, I've got five grand, I'll have a Ferrari, because they'll just go, <laughs> have a coffee, out you go. And if you've set your heart on a Ferrari, that's what you want. Now, the, here's the problem. If you look through one of these, you are gonna want one. It's just one of those things. The first time I looked through a thermal, I went, that's actually quite good. Then I started playing around with the features. Then you go, oh, this does an awful lot more than you expect. And I must be honest, is it worth the price hike? I, I've got to be honest, I think it is. And thermal spotters, I mean, that's just ridiculous. It's not even fair, is it? If you're a rabbit, you're going, white flag, come on, don't be silly, this is stupid, right? Because you can see me, I can't even hear you. And we've got this lovely land we shoot on over here. And the grass, as you can see, is getting up a bit. So you look around with your naked eye and a pair of binos, you go, oh, can't really see much. Hello, enter the Helion 2. You can see everything, right? I was looking at a rabbit a minute ago going, it's a fella, not a bird, it's a fella, you can tell. He's about 150 yards. These are very, very good. And again, you, know, you can get a spotter, a normal NV spotter, which again is really good. But with a the thermal, it adds that certain, it's the next level up, or is it two levels up? It's very, very good. I can't stress enough how good it is. You've got to look for yourselves. It's one of those things. It's like, oh, what scope do I want? Well, look for as many scopes you like and then find one that you like. And then you go, oh, that's the one. When you look through this kind of stuff, this is the one. And it really is the one. I honestly, I love it. You know, Thomas Jacks was so kind, been so lovely, lent us a load of gear. Though they, they may even get one or two bits back. You never know. I doubt it though. It's so nice. And the problem is now, I'm thinking I've got to work a day shift and a night shift because I want all of them because they've all got their certain place. You know, this one, the night vision, does all you want. But then you go, okay, what is that? Is that, no, no. Then you look through that and you go, oh, that's a rabbit, you know, or a woodpecker or a whatever, right? What's that? Same thing. And it's got a rangefinder in. Is there any point of me, can, can I miss? Well, you know I can, you, you've seen me miss a lot of times. But that's very, very good. And the thing, the detection rate on this is ridiculous. It's stupid. You expect it to be 150 yards. You can see so far the detection rate on this. We were looking at a deer a minute ago, uh, 250 yards, something like that, just having a little munch right on the old trees. Loved it. They're just so clever. These things are amazing. They're all amazing. I want it all now. See, it's all well and good being a reviewer of stuff, but when you review it and you go, I'm not, you're not having it back. You know, I'm gonna hold it hostage. Great film, by the way. Um, this is the business. I really enjoy it. It is simple to, to, to set up. I mean, you look at it, you go, oh, hang on, hang on. This is a bit tricky with all this computer stuff, but it tells you what to do. I can do it. What more do you want?